happy Friday. I'm hiding out in my room so I don't have to uh, help with Christmas decorations. So, um, yeah, I wanted to get out a quick video. Um, and I came across this news story a few days back and it was about a man. He, uh, it was really heartbreaking. He wrote a long, long letter explaining why he had to end his life. And he was in a stressful, toxic uh, situation. He was a principal, married man with kids. And his wife, you know, from what I'm understanding, basically painted a horrible picture of this man. And everybody that knew him had wonderful things to say about him. But because she's female and she can say whatever, it kind of turns around in her favor, the situation, you know, because nowadays a woman can say a man beat her and without any evidence and people are going to, you know, side with that woman. And this man, you know, probably never put his hands on her or whatever. But um, I see, um, I got the news story pulled up. It said in his mind, this was his only way out of his toxic relationship. And this is, it, this really breaks my heart. Because it's a lot of people that are in darkness that are going through so much. And a lot of people do have these thoughts like, well, this is like the only, this is my only way out. Just going and end my life because, you know, everybody already has this bad opinion about me. Everybody's already thinking negative. And my prayers go out to anybody that's going through that. Because when you have a whole community of people believing a person who's going purposely going around trying to destroy your image is the worst thing because I mean it's hard to defend yourself when everybody's siding with the enemy so I don't really I guess my advice in that situation is immediately going to prayer mode because the enemy has to find a way to tear good people down you know, and a lot of people are innocent. So I want you to remember that God's power is not burdened by boundaries or by limitations. And neither for that matter is his love. The love that flows from the heart of God is infinite. And today offers yet another opportunity to celebrate that love. God's love for you is deeper and more profound than you can fathom. In times of trouble, he will comfort you. God will fight your battles. But here's the thing. You have to make it a habit to come to him. God is not going to chase you down. God is there. God is always there. But you have to make it a habit to build your relationship, to reach out to God, ask for help to get you through whatever you're going through. And God will. God will turn up for you in ways you can never imagine. So, um... When you are weak or sorrowful, God is as near as your next breath. This is very true. He stands at the door of your heart and waits. So you need to welcome him in and allow him to rule. And then accept the peace and the power and the protection and the abundance that only God can give. Did you hear that last line? That only God can give. That peace, protection, and abundance that only God can give. So... You're going through something. If you come across this video, I'm here. Um, my email is, I think, in the uh, About Me section. And I will also leave it in the description of this video if you want to reach out. If you come across this video, whenever you come across this video, if you come across this video, it was meant for you to see. So um, I'm here. You need prayer. You need somebody to talk to. I'm here. Just reach out. But... I pray everybody has a safe weekend, no drinking and driving, and I'll see you in the next video.